In this video, we're going to keep discussing the flash crash on GDAX. We talked before about flash crashes in general and how to protect ourselves, but in this video, I want to just take a quick look at how GDAX responded to the flash crash that happened on the GDAX exchange. Let's have a look. I'm here at blog.gdax.com and I pulled up this blog post that GDAX released same day, so June 21st. It appears to be written by Adam White and it says there that Adam is the GM of GDAX. On 21 June 2017, at 1230 p.m. Pacific time, a multi-million dollar market sell was placed on the GDAX ETH order book. This resulted in orders being filled from 317.81 to 224.48. Or eight, translating into a book slippage of 29.4%. This slippage started a cascade of approximately 800 stop loss orders and margin funding liquidations, causing ETH to temporarily trade as low as 10 cents. So they're telling us that a multi million dollar market sell order hit the order book, and this resulted in slippage. So we talked about slippage in a previous video. If you don't know what slippage is, watch a previous video in this. GDAX playlist. One thing I want to point out about this multi-million dollar market sell order was that this was most likely not done by a professional because a professional would not enter such an order that would cause this type of reaction in the marketplace. A professional would unload this order over multiple days. They would analyze the order book and they would see how much they could actually sell at each given point in time because this particular order was losing value because of the way it was placed. It says here that the slippage occurred 30 percent the order book slipped 30 percent when this order hit the market it started soaking up the demand that was right around the current market price but in order to get a fill it had to keep slipping down the price had to drop and as the price slipped lower and lower trades were occurring and it was triggering more stop losses causing this thing to snowball so if you had a million dollars worth of ether and you put a sell order in the entire amount you just lost about 300k as this thing slipped down so this is one reason you definitely want to understand the order book if you're a big player if you've got a lot at stake and you just say well I'm gonna go ahead and sell the whole thing all at once that's not a good idea you have to analyze the order book and you have to see how much can you sell at each price now this was definitely a rookie mistake we can take a look at what they say next our initial investigations show no indication of wrongdoing or account takeovers we understand this event can be frustrating for our customers our machine matching engine operated as intended throughout the event and trading with it very Advanced features like margin always carry inherent risk. So what is margin? We haven't talked about margin yet in this series. What I'm going to say about margin is that it is borrowing money. If you borrow money from GDAX and you buy Ether with it and Ether starts to drop, then they're going to force you to sell. It's called a margin call. You will have to sell in order to give the money back and you're going to have to take a loss. There's almost never a reason to be using margin. We're continuing to conduct a thorough investigation and will keep customers updated with any resulting actions. With that in mind, it is important to note that these trades are final in accordance with our GDAX trading rules. That's section 3.1. Honoring properly executed orders is critical to maintaining the integrity of an exchange. In response to the large price movement, we decided to temporarily halt trading of ETH USD. That means they stopped trading. So if you were if you were currently trying to trade on ETH USD, you were going to be able to. And this is something that happens in large exchanges like the NYSE as well. Once we had confirmed all systems were operating correctly, we restore trading in accordance with our downtime process. So I have flip tabs and I'm now here at update number two. This is a second update regarding the ETH USD trading activity on June 21st, 2017. You can read the first update here. GDAX is just over two years old and has grown to become one of the world's leading digital asset exchanges. We launched our first version of margin trading earlier this year and have generally seen strong customer demand and positive feedback. Our long-term ambition, however, is to be a leader among all exchange platforms and we are committed to serving as the most trusted provider to the world's largest institutions and professional traders. We are confident that all trades this week were executed properly. However, some customers did not receive the quality of service we strive to provide and we want to do better. We will establish a 
process to credit customers' accounts which experienced a margin call or stop loss order executed on the GDAX ETH order book as a direct result of the rapid price movement at 12.30 p.m. Pacific time on June 21, 2017. This process will allow affected customers to restore the value of their ETH USD account to the equivalent value of their ETH USD account at the moment prior to the rapid price movement. To clarify, for customers who have buy orders filled, we are honoring all executed orders and no trades will be reversed. Now that is big. So if you were one of the lucky few that were had a buy order in down around that 10 cent level and you got an execution, then they're not going to reverse that. You're going to get to keep that ETH at the buy price of 10 cent. Now this next one is also big. For affected customers who have margin calls or stop losses executed, we are crediting you using company funds. Whoa. I couldn't believe this when I heard it. Absolutely could not believe it. The reason I couldn't believe it is because GDAX specifically markets to professionals and institutions. And a professional and an institution should understand how to use these particular tools. What we have been talking about, you know, for the past 10 videos in this series is use stop orders that have a limit price. And then also margin is extremely dangerous. Now they're going to go ahead and make these customers accounts whole. We view this as an opportunity to demonstrate our long-term commitment to our customers in the future of this industry. We will follow up directly with affected customers about the process next week. So that's how they responded. It was a really big deal that they did this because they pretty much made everybody whole. It made the whole event less of a big deal. I can see why they did it here because cryptocurrencies are new. GDAX is new like they stated in the start of this article and they don't want to get a bad rep. So they went ahead and they they bit the bullet and they made all accounts whole. But we can't rely on GDAX. We need to be protecting ourselves with limit orders and understanding how these markets work if we're going to be participating and using GDAX as it's a more sophisticated tool. We have to understand how it should be used. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, subscribe, and support this deep lizard channel. Thank you.